Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's that van guy again with another video. Today we're going to be checking out a really cool set that came out recently. This is uh, a Hot Wheels premium set, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, five different cool uh, vans, uh, technically four vans in one panel. Um, I kind of wish that they would have uh, replaced the 55 Chevy panel with... Uh, a different van, maybe the uh, custom 77 Dodge van or some of the other cool uh, vans that they have um, in their uh, casting lineup at Hot Wheels. But uh, it is what it is. Uh, I got a full set and we're going to be opening all of them. Even though I don't really collect the 55 Chevy panel, uh, we'll open it up and check it out in detail. And then uh, it'll just go in the uh, for sale bin uh, at the local meet or... Um, I'll just like give it away to some young kid. So, uh, but we'll first we'll check out the card art. Uh, this is the '70s van, which is also uh, I think this is. Um, I wonder if it says which Ninja Turtle it is. I mean, they all are specific turtles by the color of the bandanas they wear. But it's been a while since I've seen the cartoon. I'm not sure if I remember which ones are which i think this i think the blue guy or the blue turtle i think his name is leonardo here's a little shot of the back of the card art i think the back of the card art is the same on all of them but we'll check another one just to be sure i don't think it says on the package anywhere um yeah, I'm pretty sure this is Leonardo, the blue guy. Uh, I don't see it. doesn't say his name on the card anywhere. Just a picture of him. I think uh, they have like a little insignia on their belt, like their initial. But it's kind of hard to see because his uh, elbow pad is there in the way. So there's the card art for that one. And we're going to open them all up and check them out in detail. I'll throw them on the turntable. But we'll just check out the card art. This is the Dream Van XGW. Uh, if I didn't, uh, if it wasn't obvious, this is the 70s van, also known as the Super Van. Uh, it's listed, uh, depending on the release, it's either uh, listed as a Super Van or a 70s van. Uh, just uh, kind of depends on uh, what release it is. It goes by a couple different casting names. This is uh, the Dream Van XGW. Uh, the purple turtle, which is, I believe is Donatello. Pretty cool. I haven't seen this uh, casting done in a while, I don't believe. So that's kind of cool to get something different. Here's the back of the card art. Yeah, it looks like it's the same for all of them. So I won't bother showing the back of the rest of them. But, you know, if you're a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle fan, which... A lot of people are. It's got some pretty cool card art. You know, almost, uh, you'd almost want to keep them carded just because they have all the characters on each card. This is uh, Raphael. You can see he's got the R on his belt. And this is the custom GMC panel van, also released as, like, I think the A Team van in certain releases. Again, back of the card art is the same. <clears throat> Number four or five. <clears throat> and then we have Michelangelo. And this is the 55 Chevy panel. Like I said, this is the only one in the set that I don't collect, but we're still going to open it up and check it out. And then here's like the party wagon. Uh, this has all of them on it. And this is a pretty cool version. It's got like a turtle shell design on the top. This is the 66 Dodge A100. Uh, one of the ones that I collect. Pizza. So this is a pretty cool one. This is a uh, non- character specific design it's got all of them on it for the card art so yeah let me just uh, grab the turntable 
and uh, we'll start cracking these open and we can check them out in detail okay well let's open them up uh, uh least favorite to favorite we'll save the best for last like you said this uh 55 chevy panel i don't collect uh we'll check out the the base uh curl metal base treaded rubber tires it's got some nice wide tires on it good for customs This is the Michelangelo uh, one from the set. Not a bad looking uh, version. It's got the orange, yellowish orange and white with a picture of uh, Michelangelo on them. Let's see, are they the same? Looks like he's making two different poses. One on each side. Looks like he's standing with this nunchucks at the ready on this side. And the other side, it looks like he might be doing like a, a crouching pose. So it's kind of cool that you get two different um, versions or two different uh, designs. I'll give you a close-up shot of the back it's got a little no foot design on the rear quarter and they don't like the foot clan the evil ninjas from what i remember so yeah that one's pretty cool set that one aside next we'll check out the uh dream van xgw This one looks like it's got a black base with uh, treaded rubber tires. Uh, they uh, redid the casting for the Dream Van XGW. It used to have an opening uh, side door on one side that was kind of like a going door that opened, but they changed it and got rid of that opening door. So if you have some of the older original castings, uh, original releases of this uh, van, you, it will have a, a door that opens on the side and it has like a elaborate interior with a little dog inside uh, that's molded into the interior. But these uh, newer releases, after they change the casting, it doesn't have the opening door anymore. Just a cost saving measure, I would imagine. This is the Donatello van. And I think he's got like two different uh, poses on this one too. Yep, yeah. got some green tinted wheels and the green tinted windshield. Pretty cool. Some like aluminum looking five slots that are tinted green. Uh, next up, we'll check out one of my favorites in the uh, uh, set, custom GMC panel van. Also, sometimes known as the A-Team van. Alright, got a raw metal base with some treaded tires. And this is uh, Raphael, I believe, in red. I really like how they have the uh, porthole windows on the back and the sides. And it's got a little bit of uh, lighting effect to it to make it look kind of 3D, which is cool. Uh, you know, nothing says 70s van like a, a porthole window. Uh, it looks like it's got chrome, whims, cr chrome rims. And a green tinted uh, windshield and side windows. Pretty detailed taillights and whatnot. And again, I think it has uh, 
two different poses on Raphael, one on each side. Yep. I really like the 70s style uh, stripes on it too. Pretty cool. Turtle power. Nice looking rims on this one. Just a really nice uh, version all around. I think this set is a really cool set. Uh, next up, we'll check out another one of my favorites, a 70s van. Love this casting. Uh, I try to stay current with it as best I can. And uh, try to keep my uh, collection complete with all these 70s vans and uh, super vans. There's uh, the metal base, raw metal base, treaded rubber tires. And this is uh, Leonardo, I believe. Some cool, uh, again, some uh, porthole window action on the side and some cool 70s style stripes, graphics. Two different uh, poses by the, our turtle friend here. We've got the headlights painted and the marker lights. Fog lights in the front. Nice looking wheels. Got the... Uh, little uh, blacked out squares in the back so it looks like it's got rear windows which is cool you don't always do that and it looks like kind of a bluish green uh, tint to the windshield really cool version glad to be able to add that one and then last but not least we'll check out this cool 66 Dodge A100 This one's got a green painted base with nice wide treaded tires. Uh, these wheels are kind of hard to see because they're blacked out. Kind of like a five spoke or like a almost like an aluminum slot, but they're really uh, deeply recessed. Really cool uh, design on the top there. The uh, turtle looking shell design on the top and it's uh, yellow and green design got some headlight paint on the front and the word dodge above the grill and then it says pizza i really like the green scallops around the wheel wells makes it look kind of hot rod style pretty cool and looks like we got two different designs one on each side again which is cool and it looks like we have all the turtles Looks like it's kind of like a, a slightly smoked uh, windshield on this one with a red interior. And it does have some teardrop shaped porthole window uh, on the back and the sides. And then uh, some painted squares on the rear doors to resemble uh, windows. I don't think, actually they are actual real windows. It's actually cut into the body. If, you, if I hold it sideways you can kind of see the uh recesses i don't think we'll be able to see through there though i think they're probably tinted yeah i'm not sure i took a closer look at those windows and either they're just tinted really dark in the back or they're just painted because you can't really see in through the rear windows at all but it's got a lot of cool detail like that one a lot there we have the whole set uh, freed from their packaging nice and shiny new models to add to the collection I uh, hope you enjoyed the video guys and found it informational if you did give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe you can also check out my Facebook page that van guy and you can find me on Instagram I'm that underscore diecast underscore van underscore guy Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Have a great day.